Hello Live Wires, Heather Boyd Wire here and today it's Tip Tuesday. Today I'm going to make a ring using the Artistic Wire Coiling Gizmo. Now I have made my own DIY coiling machine in my original wire art course that I'll link up below in the description. You can get the coiling gizmo on the Beetle On website or I'll link up below the Amazon link to purchase it. Otherwise you can just coil the wire around a thick wire to make a kind of a spring. What you're going to need for this project is 20 gauge wire. I have 18 gauge wire or you can use 16 gauge wire for the band. I have my tools, I have the coining gizmo and I have my stepped ring mandrel. The gizmo comes with five different sizes of coiling pieces. I'm going to use the second smallest one. Now normally you set it up on a table but because my camera is overhead I've just stuck it on this little bench thing just so you can see what I'm doing. I've clamped the gizmo just to the edge here and this is the part that's going to wind around. So I'll take my 20 gauge wire and you just have to attach it here just to fix it in place so just wind it around so it's stuck in place there. So you just take the handle and just wind it around. You just want to wind it around so it's pretty uh, tight like it's close together and you're just going to wind this whole piece of wire. I have about two feet of 20 gauge wire. Once you've finished your wire you're just going to remove it from here and then unwind this and just take it off the gizmo, put it back in there. If you want just a spring, you've got one going here. So I want to do a double kind of spring thing. So I'm going to take this spring that's already made and I'm going to uh, attach it again to the gizmo. So we're just going to attach this one here on the end. And then what we want to do is actually wind this one around. So I'm going to flip this one over here and then I'm going to take this and just wind it around and around and around. So we're making like another little coil thing and depending on how long you want it we're probably going to have to cut it shorter to make the ring. It's a little bit long now so this is what we have so far and then we can just take it off of here. We can remove it from here and then we want to make our ring. Then we're going to decide how wide we want this one to be so just give one end a little clip. Just pinch it in so that end's not sharp and then we want it to be sort of a nice width Decide if you want it three, four or five springs across. Depends on how big your finger is. So say you're going to go for five. Just pull this one down and again give it a little clip and pinch it closed so there's no sharp ends. So now we have this little spring and we want to put it on a ring. Now you could take a piece of 16 gauge wire and then just bend it at a right angle here. Put the coil on there and then you want to bend it back down. Just put it in there, pull it snugly, hold it, pull it and then just bend it down. And it's going to kind of go in between the last two springs. So now we have a configuration like this. This is snugly in place. So grab your ring cone, put it at the size that you want, hold it in place, bring that one around here and this one around here. Push it. You can hammer it if you want to and then remove it from the ring cone and then just try it on whatever finger that you want. You can just do like a little loop on either side. This is a thick wire so you're a little bit limited to what you can do with it. We'll just give that a little clip 
and then we'll do the same thing on this side just bring it around do a little loop looks like that give it a little clip and then just pinch it with the flat pliers these are the needle nose pliers bring it in a little bit if you have to you can put it back on the ring cone push it in there squeeze it a bit hammer it if you have to and there you have your super funky fancy spiral ring so I'm doing this one with the 22 gauge wire it's a little thinner sometimes when you work like close to the edge it kind of pinches it together a little better so you can always work closer to the metal bar there and it seems to pinch it together a little bit more consistently so just keep going and then we'll do the next step take this one wind it around so it stays in place this wire is thinner so it's going to make a more delicate spiral and then we're going to go around here and just do our second round and as you go around you'll see it kind of like splits open a little bit so we're going to go round and round and round i'm going to use a contrasting 18 gauge wire i'm just going to bend that at an angle slide the spring on there push your little needle nose pliers in there and give it a little a little bend so it's going to look something like that and then because we don't want this pinching into the finger we're going to bend it out at an angle so it's sort of level with that just bend it out at an angle so it's somewhat level and this end we can just wind around here and we want to close it off okay so we're just going to wind it around there clip it off and then pinch it in so that is closed and it's not pokey so same thing here we're just going to take this end wind it around close it off clip it pinch it in so that end is flush so now we have this little spring that's in the wires there we will get our ring cone put it to the size that you want and bring it around one way and then bring it around the other way and twist it around as many times as you want it might look nice if you just have a wire above and below it would make it look a little bit more finished from here you can pull it tightly and just bring it around bring it right around to here and then you can pull it off the ring cone bring this one around all the way around and then give it a little clip push the little end in so it's not pokey and then you can put it back on the ring cone and if your wire is long enough you could go around again so bring it around there around over to this side around over to here and then lift it off the cone and do the same thing where you bring it in through here bring it and pull it pretty snugly and then clip that end the 18 gauge is a little stiff but it makes for a nice solid ring so push the end in so it's not pokey put it back on the ring cone play around with these if you have to adjust them a little bit and there you have your super funky spirally kind of space age type ring So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. 
And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.